just hello. Just hello. Duthulik back on the LP circuit for some reason. It's been probably about a year since I last did anything because it's impossible to organize people and I've given up on that. So I'm going to do stuff by myself and because of a game that's coming out in about a month, I think it's about time I finally played this game. Get behind the microphone and turn the system on. I hope all this works out right. So, Banjo Kazooie. The very first video I ever made for YouTube was actually Banjo Tooie. I never, I didn't, I didn't actually own the games, so I was never able to let's, let us play them. Now I do own them, and owned them for quite a while actually. I just never got around to playing them because I've been busy and everything, and everything. But ukulele's coming out in a month, so I figured why not make a mad dash to see if I can finish let us playing these games before they come out. I won't be able to do that. I also don't know if I will be playing the ukulele on the game day it comes out. I gave to the Kickstarter, so I am getting the game. I'm actually getting two copies of the game. I'm getting a copy, a digital copy for the Nintendo Switch and a physical copy for the PC. It's coming all the way from the UK, so is it going to be mailed and arrive here on the day it comes out? I don't know. Will I have a Switch when the day comes out? Unlikely. I still don't have a Switch, and I probably won't bother to get one until Super Mario Odyssey comes out. I also want to play Sonic Mania on the Switch, but it'll be on computer. I have a GameCube controller adapter for the PC that I can use, but you know, it's it, it has problems. It's clearly not designed to be played with a GameCube controller, so most of the time. Sonic games just plain don't work with it. I never actually got Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transform to work with it anyway. I guess I'll just do this one. So that's enough about games that aren't Banjo Kazooie. Let's have a cutscene so I can talk more about games that aren't Banjo Kazooie. He clearly looks amazing. I did play the toy box. I actually considered making a video of me playing a toy box, but again, I tried to use the GameCube controller and it took me an hour to figure out how to get it to work right. In the end, it actually wasn't that difficult, but I've already forgotten how to do it, so when the game comes out for real, it's gonna be... It's gonna take me an hour to get the controller to work for it again, so... Streaming it, not streaming it. I'm recording a video, it's going to be annoying, but I'll probably still try and do that because it's going to be amazing. Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie are basically my favorite games, which is kind of funny. I first played Banjo Kazooie in like a Kmart, maybe. It was just you know they have sometimes they have not Kmart anymore. But Kmart doesn't have anything anymore, but some places will have games you can play, like demos of games you can play, and Banjo Kazooie happened to be one on there. No idea what I was doing the entire time, but I just ran around Spiral Mountain and thought it was amazing, and ended up renting at like 174 times. I actually think I like Banjo Tooie a little bit better. They did some things that were better, and actually the things that were worse. So maybe ukulele will balance that out, or they'll just do things that are worse and things that are worse. Who knows? I haven't actually been looking. I've been looking at the microphone while talking the whole time. So I haven't actually been looking at the game, which is not a problem since it's just a cutscene. I wonder if Banjo's wearing his shorts. Let's see. For the record, Winchell is one of my favorite video game characters. I don't know if Private B or whatever his name is, Corporate B, will match up. I doubt he's not wrong. 
One more thing before we get started is that I just want to point out that this... I'm using a used Nintendo 64. Everything I'm using here is used. The game, the second game, the system, the controller, because I sold my original one when I was a dumb kid. This... Actually, the price tag is still on this controller, but I don't want to bother taking it off for some reason. Control stick. It's like a thing that can, Nintendo 64 control sticks are hard and kind of annoying to use. Like, I know the GameCube controller is a lot, has a lot softer control stick. This one, aside from being kind of hard, it also has like dirt and stuff in there, so it's annoying to use. But it also, it's coincidentally, even though it's a used controller, it's like the exact same style I had, which was that you could see through it. Had, it was like Arctic. Purple or something, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, let's actually get started. Let's just say Banjo Tooie did better with not making the speed up be. Anyway. I'm not going to bother doing this tutorial stuff, so I'm just going to. That might have been the case with the uh, one I played, the demo I played at the store. They had they had skipped the training, so I didn't actually know what I was what to do. Okay, uh, so I didn't know what I was to do. I also thought it was amazing enough to try it out. Right, I don't have the talent to here. Ooh, it's a carrot. Ah, yes. The old... Uh... 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 Google, yeah. The other thing is to use the controller is all the... Some of the buttons stick occasionally, like the left C stick just did, but... Having not this is my favorite game, but I don't actually know what like I do some game like Paper Mario. I played that game like fifteen times, and I know that game front to front. I like Thousand Year Door more, but I don't know that as well. Oh, there it is. There it is. Now, this is going to be a effectively 100% run. I know there's more mumbo tokens than you need, but they doesn't show up on the collect screen. So it's like I don't know if I ever get them all, so I don't care. Okay, well, there's two more. I think I know what they are. Not over here. Uh, over there. And the other one is over over there. Oh, no, wait. Over there. These things have names, right? They just... The... The vegetables, they actually are given the names if you do the tutorial, but... Those guys, they're just there. Kind of angry. Uh, yep, this one. Okay, so I'm done. This is, of course, for the soft spot gag. And if you heard that, that was the Wii U. Gamepad saying notice, and I'm just like, I don't care. I I assume there's a way to turn that off, but I never bother. I play the I, I play the GameCube more than I do the Wii U, and that is 
party because I've been trying to go through every every route possible on Shadow the Hedgehog because I'm insane. And also it's because it has more games. Hello again. Yeah, I'm totally ready to go fight a final boss now. One thing to make note is that the character sizes are rather uh, inconsistent. Gruntilda's. Yeah, I assume nuts and bolts is supposed to be the proper size for Gruntilda, but in this game, these games are usually much bigger. I think a final boss fight is a normal size compared to Banjo, but like in all the cutscenes, if you. Well, actually. Most of the cutscenes, if you were to hack the game so you can go play in the cutscenes, you end up. Everyone's bigger than usual, but. In the. In the, uh. The, uh. Tower of Furnace E. Fun. E. Yeah, she's big there. Anyway. Let's. You kind of think about it. Super Mario 64 required nothing to get to the first level. This one you do need something, but it's super easy to get. For the record, the one thing I just said was, uh, uh, it was, uh, phrase stolen from Victor upon a bus number one, which he took from someone else anyways. Okay, I know what everything is level is, I just don't remember where everything is, so I'm just gonna run around for a while and find stuff. Like a ginger. Yeah. Also, what I said earlier, I'm just going to be 100% run. That's not true. Um, if I end up missing a, 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 some music notes, I'm not going to bother writing for them. If I can get enough, it's it's unless I like. You know, I just if I get. I was really confused for a second. Like the music's not normal, is it? Or that's a music note talking. Uh, if I if I like miss. Three music notes or something. I'm not gonna. It's 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 annoying. This and Banjo Tooie, I don't remember. There's probably a way to skip it in this game. It might have been Z. It might be a Z actually. Anyway, I was going on the. This is the hardest jiggy in the game. Yeah, there is one thing I will admit about Banjo Tooie is that some of the jiggies really are just sort of sitting in the middle, sitting. Hello, same as Super Mario 64. I suppose just well, maybe not Super Mario 64. Because those you had to actually you 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 would get a star and then level in. Right? 
But some of them are kind of repetitive. Anyway, I have a turbo toddle to do, so. I know I missed a note. You know? Yippee! I think, it's, I think it's oranges are yummy. But yum. Yeah, I'm not seeing. Yeah, it is hard to get to three. And in, it's, I'm thinking like in Banjo 2 e it'd probably be like this would all just get you one jiggy, but maybe not. forget that you can shoot eggs backwards. I remember the sandcastle, it said to look away from the bucket and shoot birds and shoot birds. <laughs> shoot eggs into it and I'm like, how do I look away and shoot eggs? Do you know, I have to turn around quickly or something? But no, no, it's just you have to shoot them backwards. If you just hit that game. And, uh, oh, I probably actually should have gotten a beak blog here before doing this. Oh well. <laughs> Uh, that was a sound. This kind of the boss. I don't know if this counts as a boss. This kind of a guy. Maybe if he got just one jiggy from it, it count as a boss. Do so much. Although, to be fair, you don't have to actually hit the oranges to get up to Congo. So. Oh, yeah, I have this now. Let me go ahead and get the beak larger. And by that, I mean go down here for a while. Used to Banjo Tooie where you just do snow middle dance. I kind of missed this one. So yeah, we are. This is called a doothful a comment, comment, com, 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 conversation. Everyone remembers, which is I never have anything to say, and that's it. I guess that's what I get for playing a game everyone else has played 344 times. Because I've watched them, I'm not only watched them too. Ah. You can't hang underneath the uh, pathway, can you? I don't think you can. It's not like Super Mario 64 where there's like three areas you can. Yeah. Well, at least I didn't fall into the water this time. Okay. Is it here? Nope!
Let's try it again. And there we go. No. I might have made a right if I went the other way. This claim where I'm bad at video games. I made a joke with him once, and Ryan told me it was Metroid. Yes. Yeah, I was, I was saying something and then forgot because that's how it works. Let's see. One of these has a jiggy, one of them has these nose, one of them has an enemy, one of them has. Eggs. Three more of these. There's this guy. Very good mess. Eight hard stones. It's like targets on, except not. What is the other JV I'm missing? It's not just like one underwater here, is there? There might be six uh, notes in the termite tower, though. Actually, there might be one termite in that could be here. There might be an exit somewhere. There might be a mumbo token in the termite tower. Definitely not doing this game. Speed running, 
As usual, Kazooie disappears from me. But not bad for first. Potato. Yeah, the transformations in this game don't have much going for them besides small. Most four out of five of them have some stability, but it's not anything special. And there we go. Did not read what the termite said at all. As anyone who's played this game knows, leave as a termite. I don't know why. The, I don't know if that this was intentional or for some reason they. I don't know why they would. Maybe they just didn't have enough room to. I don't. It's, it's just a, it's such a weird thing that they would. This is such a weird thing that it wouldn't let you keep the notes if they really set. You have to do a best note square. It doesn't even make sense. Really. But anyway, I got a hundred notes and I need fifty. Musical spells. I want to hear Gruntilda sing. Oh, oh dang, almost half an hour. That's actually pretty good. Right here, oh, I know. Well, the water got to use escape and we're going once more. Wait, that wasn't that supposed to be said like. Okay, now that's probably actually a pretty good place to stop this, so I'm going to go find out that for some reason the recording didn't work and everything died, and goodbye.